announcements. Good morning, River Heights! Today is Wednesday, May the 13th, 2020, and it's another day of Quarren Teaching today! Coming to you live from the broadcast studios here in the village of Dorchester, these are your socially distant announcements. One of the things Mr. Shike likes to do is to go fishing and watch birds while he does fish. So today I thought I'd take my outdoor challenge to the mill pond. I hope you'll join me, at a safe distance of course. Come along. The bird watching challenge begins today. The board's Explore at Home new outdoor challenge is set for just 15 minutes over the next three days starting today, Wednesday to Friday, bird watching and gathering information about local birds. Now, there are resources to support family bird watching at home or at a safe distance here at the mill pond. I hear there are lots of birds here. These resources include a video of how to find and watch birds, a tally sheet, not necessarily to print, but is one option for tracking, an ID sheet of the most likely birds you're going to see in our area this week, and even a Google form for submission linked to their website. Check out the morning announcement, Nature Supplement, in the From the Office with Mr. Shike for more information and to see the links about going to the site, getting the resources, and how to add your information to the benefit of all students across Thames Valley. Well, I think it's time for me to start my fishing, and then once I'm settled in, waiting to catch, I'll look for birds too. Here I go! I hear there are some great largemouth bass here at the mill pond. Hope to catch some, and then see some great birds. Happy bird watching, everyone! During tough times like these, communities come together to support one another. Your River Heights is no different. We are asking for students to create pictures, cards, letters, messages for our residents in the Dorchester Terrace Retirement Living Complex. We want to show them that they are not forgotten. We want to show them that every single person in Dorchester matters. Now we can do this by having that picture, that short note, that card or letter say something positive, something to brighten their day, to let them know that everyone here is thinking about them. You will see this as an activity, as part of the lessons in every classroom, and it was included in Monday's newsletter, and it's currently in the form from the office with Mr. Shike in your Google Classroom. There's a lesson video and a Google slide, and you can do the activity right on the slide, or you can upload your picture right to that slide if you wish. Otherwise, take a picture of what you've done, send it to your teacher, or send it to me directly. Either which way, please send it in. Now, thank you to the many people who have already sent them in, Keep it up, keep them coming, do it as many times as you like. And if you haven't done it yet, we would love to see those contributions. And I know the folks at the Dorchester Terrace would too. Outdoor Classroom Day is a global movement to inspire and celebrate outdoor play and learning that happens at home and at school. On Outdoor Classroom Day itself, which has two dates each year, teachers usually organize a special day of outdoors activities for their classes. Now, in response to the current times we are in, the movement will look at things a bit differently this year, both globally and here at your River Heights Public School. Outdoor Classroom Day is launching Playful Nature. That's right. Bring Playful Nature to everyone next Thursday, May 21st. Dress up in nature on the 21st and share your creations with the world. We will be giving out lots of ideas as we get closer to the day itself. Now, your eco team met as a club online and they're now working on a special surprise just for you that will be out that day to celebrate. They want you to dress up on the 21st and turn old clothes into nature colors and to create nature from recycled materials. That's right, if it's possible, spend the whole day in your creation next Thursday and play outdoors all day long. The Eco Team will help you and stay tuned to see their surprise next week. Sarah Westbrook files, well, they'll be sent out Wednesday. This way you can see them as an independent file and a separate email. Now, Sarah wanted to be sure that everyone who participated and those who missed it can still benefit from the specific strategies that she offered. We hope as a school that you benefited from her wellness approach as well. Birthdays, birthday wishes, none today. So we'll go right to our thought for the day from Smiley. The earth has music for those who listen. And that's from a guy named William Shakespeare. You're not sure? Ask your parents. <laughs> Let's make it a great day, Red Hawks. Tough times don't last, but tough people 
do. Stronger together, even when we're apart. This is Mr. Shike signing off from the broadcast studios in Dorchester. See you next time.